Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm showing how you can personalize beer can glasses with Tech Wrap's printable sticker vinyl. Normally, I would use adhesive vinyl on these, but using this printable vinyl makes it very easy because you don't have to layer the different colors at all, which can be difficult to line up. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you subscribed if you are new. TechWrap sent me three different packs. This first one is matte white printable sticker paper. I'll be using this in today's video. They also sent me holographic printable sticker paper. You can actually print directly on this, which is really cool. I'm hoping to make a separate video on this as well. And they sent me laminate sheets. You can add these sheets on top of the matte sticker paper to give it a glossy and holographic look. So I will be using one of these in today's video as well. Next, I'll show you how I put my design together in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to upload my design first. I'll click on Upload Image. When I do my beer can glasses with vinyl, I always select SVG because it'll separate each color with different layers, but this time I'm using printable vinyl, so I am going to upload a PNG, which is used with print and cut. If you upload the SVG, you can just select all the layers and make it a print and cut, but this just saves an extra step. I bought this SVG from Creative Fabrica. They have tons and tons of designs for beer can glasses, so I can leave a link down below for that. Sometimes it'll automatically pull it in for the correct size, but this one didn't. It's too big, so I am going to size it myself. I measured my glass, and for my width, I'm going to make it 9.375. For my height, I am going to make it 4.18. Then I'll hit enter. I have it sized and I have it set for print and cut. What's nice about this compared to cutting this out on vinyl is if I was doing vinyl, I would have to cut out three different colors and I would have to make sure this yellow was centered perfectly inside the pink flowers. So this is nice because you don't have to layer the vinyl at all. I'll click on make it. I'm not going to mirror my design. I'll just click continue. I'll hit send a printer. I am going to keep my bleed on. The majority of the time, I recommend keeping your bleed on because it actually helps with more accurate cuts and also let to use system dialog than print. On here, I always like to select whatever paper type. This is going to be printing on the matte side of the paper, so I'm actually gonna leave it in auto. If it was printing on something glossy, I would switch it to, um, one of the photo or glossy papers, but I do want to select best for my quality. Then I'll hit print. So this does have a glossy side. You do not want to print on that side. You want to print on the matte side. So you just want to make sure you know which direction to put your paper in your printer. For my printer, I place the glossy side facing up. Then the printer will print out my design. For my cut setting, I will select holographic vinyl. Before I have the Cricut cut out my paper, I want to add my laminate sheet on top. I cut my laminate sheet down so that it will fit over my design. If you have an Explorer, sometimes it has troubles reading those black registration lines, so you might need to cut it down a little bit more so that it's inside of those lines. These lines on the back are super nice because it makes it a lot easier to cut it. You can also use a paper trimmer as well. To add my laminate, I like to fold back just a little bit of the backing. I place down that sticky piece that is exposed, then I just remove the rest of the backing. And I used to do this slowly, but honestly, I do this pretty quickly and it works better to do it that way. This is what just works for me. As you can see, there are some bubbles on the sheet, but every time I take my scraper tool, even if I have felt or something on it, it causes more issues and more bubbles. I place my sheet in the upper left-hand corner of my Cricut mat, then load it into my Cricut machine, and that silver bar that it runs under somehow gets the bubbles out so well. So for me, I actually just don't scrape it. I let the Cricut do the work. 
The Cricut will read the black registration lines, then it will start cutting out my design. Once it's done, I unload my mat from the Cricut machine, then remove my paper. Then I grab my scissors and cut away all that excess paper that I will not be needing. Then I go in and weed my design. If I was making like stickers, I would flatten the whole thing and put like a shape behind it and I wouldn't weed it. But for this particular project, I am weeding. At first, I tried a different type of laminate sheet on top and it worked really well with the holographic vinyl setting. But for this one, it must have been a little bit thicker because it was not weeding out well at all. So I would definitely try a different setting. Um, I might have to play around with it and then and try to leave a comment with one that worked better, maybe printable vinyl or something like that. I weeded a little bit more on camera, but then did the rest off camera. It just felt like it took forever. So I would definitely try a different setting if you're using this particular laminate sheet. Here's how it looks when it's all weeded. The laminate holographic sheet is so pretty on top of it. I just wanted to show this real quick too. You can see that little border of color around the weeded area. That is because the bleed was on. So it doesn't mean that your calibration is off. It's just because of that bleed button. I go in and trim this off a little bit more because it makes it easier to line it up on the glass. Before adding my vinyl, I go in and use rubbing alcohol over the glass. It really makes a difference in helping that vinyl stay and last longer. Then I grab my transfer tape and place it over my printable sticker paper. Then I go in and scrape it down really well. I want the vinyl to easily pick up onto my transfer sheet. When I add my vinyl, I kind of do the same thing as the laminate sheet. I just bend back just a little bit of the backing of the paper. Then I wrap it around the cup. This is a good way to do it because it still has the backing on it. So I can make sure that it's lined up on the top and the bottom. Once it's lined up where I want it, I just press down on that space that doesn't have the backing. Then I go in and start taking off the backing. For this, I do this very slowly just to make sure that everything is transferring onto the glass and laying down really well. A piece of my sticker paper was not picking up onto my transfer tape, so I ended up just going in from the other direction and removing the backing that way. Then I just placed it down onto the cup. Now I'm ready to remove the transfer paper. Here's what this looks like. This is waterproof, so I am going to test it out running it under water, but I do recommend waiting 24 hours or so until doing that just to make sure it's fully adhered to the cup. Here is the water test. I'm just running it underneath my faucet. When I've tested out printable vinyl under water before, the printable vinyl has picked up immediately and this stuck down super, super well. I am very impressed with the printable vinyl. I hope I can give an update after washing it several times. This is such a great alternative to adhesive vinyl for these beer can glasses. You can also use these for stickers on other glassware and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it and I would love it if you subscribed if you are new to my channel.